Max rigs, Dax David rigs, Planet Earth, 2011. South of New Orleans, Homa, Homa, Louisiana, and now I live in Austin, Texas. And I've lived here for, I guess, like over five years or at least five years. I think it's a wonderful place to live, and it's very forward thinking, and I appreciate that about this place. And uh, I never lived in a place like this before, so I'm happy. Uh, Folk metal. That's what I've taken to calling it lately because I don't know what to call it exactly, but I think it is metal slash, you know, everything that encompasses that, which is everything, right? Like it could be punk, it could be whatever. Even classical kind of influences creeping in. Uh, yeah, I would say folk because it's from the, the people and like a person that doesn't really know anything except maybe what his spirit tells him, hopefully that would be it. Folk metal. Generally I think like Iron Maiden and Van Morrison and then they kind of to like, I love all kinds of music. I love my favorite, the thing that, that brings me the most pleasure, I think, is Dixieland, like original jazz. That makes me feel really happy. But, um, yeah, I'd say everything from Van Morrison to Iron, I, Iron Maiden. <laughs> I feel like uh, I want to embrace all deities and and all the hoopla that surrounds them because I feel like it's part of being human and it's, 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 it's beautiful and grotesque, you know, like the things that they'll try to take away from you, but like loving the sky is beautiful, worshipping Mother Earth and Father Sky, when it comes down to it, is the most important thing. And when we get disconnected from the Earth, which is, I believe, what organized religion does, like disconnect you from the Earth. And it's like, I want to be connected. I love the Earth. That's my mother, and the Sky is my father. And, um, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that. Return to the earth, and and I believe that, and I also believe that maybe we we become part of the universe. Like that's really my true hope is that you know we die and we are dust and we are everything. Like even as we live, we are the consciousness of the universe that has rose up. We are mud, you know, that that came up from from the ground, and we we see ourselves see what is beautiful and what is not and I believe that we go back to uh, everything we go back to the big that's 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 affirmative we definitely go back to everything now are we conscious of anything when that happens you know maybe not you know maybe that's okay you know because you can't ask for everything you know you can't have everything you can't have your cake and eat it too. You got to be conscious, you got to be mud that stood up and said things and looked at itself and said, this is beautiful or this is not beautiful or you wrote a poem or you, you ate lunch, 
you know, you fix something wonderful for yourself. It's like, you know, I, I think that's enough. And we shouldn't ask for more of the universe. The universe has given us so much. I'm really like my main plans are just to write some music. I mean, finish writing things that I have and like complete them and put them together. And I have all kind of things that I've written, but uh, that's like my main thought. You know, when I it's like like almost a weight on me. Like, you know, what's next? What are you gonna do? And I don't really know until it's done. I know all the things I admire and I'd like to aspire to, you know? Everything from like jazz vocalist to like, you know, uh, like English folk music, which is part of like where I have come from. And I'm interested in that. And one thing that's interested me lately is like, where I come from and all the elements that make a person what they are and a lot of times you don't realize what that is you know you don't appreciate it and I want to do that you know I want to I love lots of things and I wonder why you know why am I drawn towards these things and I think the reason that I am is because that they're part of me. They're part of the elements that make up my person, you know? And so, uh, you know, know thyself. It's important. Love life and try to embrace it and move forward with yourself. You know, think about what's right and what's wrong, like, spiritually, morally, and embrace that. I mean, that's, that, I feel like that's what I'm about, you know, that, that's what I'm about as a person, and any time I've ever talked or spoken violence, it was only because I was doing it realistically as a fantasy and acting out against things, or... I was talking as an evil that I saw. Like, I was actually, when I'm screaming blood, 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 I'm really thinking about the machine that we're under. I'm not thinking that, I, you know, I'm not saying that I want this. You know, I'm saying, you know, you know, so just take that all into, you know, part of it, you know, that I'm a, I'm a person, and as anyone is many different threads twisted together, you know, we're all twisted, so. But in the end, you know, we should be forward thinking and realize the truth in life, which is, you know, taking care of the weaker, you know, and moving forward, you know, to something better, you know, and thinking of that's why, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm interested in anarchy. I'm interested in things that are not part of the system because I feel like they will make things better, you know? It's not some insanity, you know? Although, you know, I do feel like I'm insane sometimes, you know? I'm sure everybody does.